Welcome to Whips and Sips. I'm Justine. And I'm Shelly. Hello. Top of the afternoon to you. Cheers. What's my, oh, my feeling nice cup. Why is my say chill out? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Was all I had. <laughs> yeah. Uh <-huh. laughs> Welcome back. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for tuning in. Yes. It's been, um, been, it's been a, a while. Night. Yeah. It, it's been a busy uh, couple weeks. Two weeks. <laughs> yep. We're, we're lucky we're here right now, mm -hmm. let me tell you what, just with everything that's been going on. Yeah. And you'll see, we are at Shelly's house. It was mm -hmm. Justine's turn to drive to Shelly. Shelly always <laughs> comes to to me at the shop, and so we're at we're at her house. And well, it's so fun seeing all her decorations and all her stitching, and it's beautiful. My house is filthy, so this is all you're going to see. And I can't guarantee <laughs> you're not, not. going to see a layer of dust. It's not. So... Um, I'm going to just put out a little warning right now. The dog is here, and she will bark randomly at squirrels and bunnies and when my husband comes home, which should be in the next half hour or so. So uh, I apologize, and we will we'll probably stop taping if she barks to get her to, to calm down. So, yeah. Um, well, we want to thank all of our subscribers. And uh, thanks for coming back. We really appreciate it. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. We're uh, two old friends shooting the breeze. <laughs> We're a channel about predominantly cross-stitch, but cross-stitch and other handiwork, I would say. So, yeah. And we are taping Friday night after yes. work. Yes. So um, What are we sipping? This... Hopefully this will come up tomorrow, Saturday. So, you can either look at this as we're lazy and can't come up with different drink ideas, or we're just incredibly consistent. Because <laughs> we're having uh, whiskey gingers again, because we both happen to like them a lot. And, uh, yeah, so that's, what we're, that's what's in our cups tonight. Nice. And um, I guess we should just maybe jump right into the stitching, because Justine is going to do her whip parade at the end, tail end of this tonight. So... Are you ready? Buckle up. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a bumpy <laughs> ride. You might want some caffeine. <laughs> exactly. So, starting with FFOs. I had two of them. Um, the Stitchery Nook had framed two, um, two patterns, and I forgot them at the shop, so I'm so sorry. So, next time, I will show. So, thank you, thank you, Liz. They're gorgeous. I have one that I can show. This is beautiful. I've received this back within oh. probably the last, well, right when we got, I think it was here waiting for me when we got back from market. Beautiful. This is American Eagle by Blackbird Designs, and I sent this to Blynn Crisp. Crisp. Um, Blynn did this for me. Thank you, Blynn. It's just lovely. It's a little uh, flat fold. It's beautiful. Look at the bow so, at the top also. Yeah. And... The little um, button or the little charm, I guess it is, says land that I love on it. So I feel a song coming I on. I really love it. So yeah, that's my only FFO. And I don't have any FOs. I do. I do. You do. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. This one I stitched a little while ago. You did not. <laughs> this is a year in the woods. The reindeer. By Cottage Gardens. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Who stitched sorry, it? Sorry. 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 Stephanie stitched this. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that thank you, great. Steph. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, this is for your shop? She stitched yes. the model for you? Okay. She stitched the model Got for it. me. Got it. Got it. So. Do I know Stephanie? Steph yes, you do. Okay. Stephanie from 24 Hours? Yes. Oh, okay. I just don't want to use her last name because I, I didn't say it was okay. I, get, I understand. Then we have Cottage Gardens, the Needle Worker. So this okay. is the Snowman series. This is number one. Oh, he's so cute. I, I just love the sewing machine. Actually, what I love the, the most is the scissors. Are you yeah, ready? That's you, cute. I'm ready. I think you have seen this one, haven't have you? Have I? And Lenny stitched this one for us, for me or us or whoever. Isn't that... I love it. Oh, isn't that pretty? Lenny, love it, love it. Lenny love from it. Blue Earth? Yep. Okay. And I already talked to Mara, and I think we're going to have this as a stand-up. 
Mm, a stuffed stand up. Ooh, that'll be a big girl. Yeah. Big boy. But isn't that cool? Look at that scissors. That's cool. So yeah, there's another one. Oh, this is so fun giving you stuff. Oh, thank you. And then, oh, I love this one since the minute I saw it. This is Winter's Peace Sampler by Artful Offerings. Oh yeah. That's Are pretty. you ready? It's just that's like, pretty. it was like Christmas this week and last week <laughs> at work. Who stitched this? This was Vicki. You haven't seen this. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? Ooh, isn't, isn't that, that beautiful? Oh, that's gorgeous. Thank you, girls. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, very pretty. Oh, I just love it. Vicki from Omaha, right? Yep. Very nice. Nice job, Vicki. All right, and you haven't seen this one either. <clears throat> Vicki, who's been been clamoring for us to shoot a uh, yes. record uh, I called her. Tube. I called her this morning. Did you? By mistake. Oh, I, I meant to call the other oh. Vicky to ask her if she'd help me, you know, for the wine walk. Uh huh. And I got her. So she asked me, "When are you guys going to?" And I said, "Oh, hopefully it'll be up tomorrow." But I was lucky oh. enough to get to talk to her. Okay. Now this is from Nora Corbett. You haven't seen this one either. No. I'm trying to block you so you can't. Miss Spotted Beetle. So many surprises. Ooh, look at that. I know. Look at the purple. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. Look at that. Now, who stitched that? This is Gwen. Oh, Gwen. Isn't that beautiful? That is pretty. And the beads and is everything. Is it beaded? Yes. Yeah, I'm looking at the back of it, so. It's beautiful. I'm going to have to take a look. I, I might let you. Ooh, pretty. So, those are all my finishes. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah. all your finishes. A yes. little help from my friends. Thank you, girls. Yes, yes very nice. What about new starts? Do you have any new starts? Well, first I want to show you that when I was at <laughs> Shelly's house, I was snooping. And I found something that I made. Actually, I made this twice. You threw the first one away. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. That wasn't very nice of me. Well, but it was at the bottom of the box and you didn't know it. You don't oh, remember that, do you? I don't. I, I'm. It's starting to come back to me now. There were other things in the box and it was under the tissue paper at the bottom and I didn't know it and I yeah so I made it again um I have something to see if I can go like this so I made this for Shelly a long time ago I mean a long Samuel was little mm -hmm. and Samuel is going to be 25 here in a week or so so just a little hard on our piece very cute so okay I'm sorry New starts, you said. Yes. Do you have any new starts? I do not. You don't? I do not. I've been a very, not monogamous stitcher, but pretty close. Only working on a handful of things. I did start something. First of all, I didn't stitch like, well, we didn't stitch at all the week at market. I brought something well, down to stitch, but I, I you did. I got to stitch on the way yeah, down when Shelly was driving. Yeah. We... <laughs> We'll talk about Market closer to the end after her whip parade, but we did some stupid stuff, let me tell you. Okay, when we were at Market, one of the things that caught, I know both of our eyes, because I already have some stuff out for model stitching because I loved them so mm -hmm. much. But we met the gal from um, Garden Moon Designs, I believe. Mm -hmm. Under the Under the Garden Moon. Okay. And we got to see these. This is so cute. That is a needle book. And it was just adorable. I just love that little guy. It's just adorable. And I wanted to have it done by the time I um, we had our next floss too. But for some reason, when I sat down in the chair, <laughs> so did my eyes. <laughs> but so I started this robin. It's pretty close. Well, and I, I did not have all the correct floss. Uh -huh. This is how sad it is. I sat in my chair and I grabbed other DMC, and this isn't DMC, this is weeks, but I grabbed DMC to match kind of to work. Uh -huh. I didn't even have to get out of my chair to find a substitute. Oh my God. That's how much was by my chair. <laughs> and then instead of the French nuts, I'm going to use beads, beads. that go around there. So oh, I can't wait cute. to finish it. 
Yeah, they had or Mara finished several it, cute ones. Okay. And I do have another one in my bag do because you? I was, I don't know why I had them both in here. But here's the little lamb. Isn't that cute? Oh, one of them, what did she say, was colonial knots? Yeah. And then yep. the other one was, was stitched. But, oh, yeah. these are so cute. So I'm sorry if you can hear that. My We bell trained our dog. So when she wants to go outside, she rings the bell. And she's over at the door ringing the bell right now and looking at me like, lady, come put me out. <laughs> Do you need to? No. Ken will, Ken will be here any minute. Okay. We can let her out. So that is <laughs> that is my only start. Okay. How about whips? What have you been stitching on? Well, you go first since you don't have as many. Okay, I can do that. Um, so since the last time we met, I stitched a little bit more on my to all a good night. Oh, I don't think I saw this, did I? Yeah, I showed it last time. But I mean, I didn't see what you'd stitched on. What do you want me yeah. to do? <gasps> Look at those colors. I've got starting to get the moon and the stars in there. And do you have a colored pattern? Um, I, I've got it put away. I only have my working copy, okay. but I've got it put away because, you know, oh, I'm borrowing beautiful. this from oh, someone. That's right. and I don't want anything to happen to it. So, oh, beautiful. but this is a Blackbird Designs. It's got the big brick house at the bottom and beautiful. Shirley. Oh, good night. So I stitched a little bit more on that, I think, to get the rest of my February whip go in. Or no, I started this for my birthday, didn't I? Yeah, that's right. I started Can't this for remember. my birthday, so I just stitched a little bit extra in it. Oh, here comes Dad. He's going to rescue the dog. So, sorry about the little break there. Um, dog is outside. Husband is upstairs. So now we can proceed. <laughs> anyway, that is Blackbird's um, and to all a good night. It's gorgeous. So, Absolutely gorgeous. Just worked a little bit on that. And then I worked on my March whip go. The first one that was called was my Chester's Place, which this is, um, this was a charity piece by Whistle Stop Stitcher Design. Isn't that beautiful? And I'm doing it as a memorial to the dog that we lost this past summer. So I'm gonna stitch it pretty much exactly as it is there, except at the bottom, instead of all the different animals, I'm gonna put paw prints and then put our dog's information, like her birth nice. and her death, and that kind of thing. And oh, shall quite we? a bit in, although my I have a fabric issue, but. What's the fabric issue? Well, see, oh. up here. Oh. Um. So anyway, I got, I think that's all the text, isn't it? Unwakened. Oh, did I put the period in at the end there? I think I did. You did. Okay, good. So yeah, I got all the text in and that one little motif there off to the left. Oh, that's beautiful. And uh, I only stitched on it for three days. I got quite, oh, I also did this row down here. Beautiful. And I don't think, I can't remember if I had the border completely done or not, but. Um, beautiful, yeah. beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So. So I stitched on that, and then my other whip go for the month of March was Turkey Hollow Farm. I'm just tickled pink about that. It, it was it was so much. What do I say? Not so much more fun, but I liked it a lot better when Missy was working on it. I don't like it when you're working <laughs> on it. Now you have big news. Oh, there's some in the store. There's some Turkey Hollow Farm patterns in the store. Yeah, you had a hard time getting those for a while, didn't you? I'm so excited. So here is the pattern, or the picture of the pattern. I'm not gonna lie to you, Shell. Farms. I seriously thought about staying up all night and stitching. Oh, good Lord. And then I sat in my chair and didn't Fell get asleep. it out at all. <laughs> <Fell asleep. laughs> Who was I watching today? Oh, Kitten Stitcher, uh, Teresa Vinette. I'm like, now I know why Justine likes her. She was talking about sitting in the bathtub reading her one of her <laughs> one of her books. It was a, I think, a rug hooking book. Oh. And she's like, yeah, I like to take books into the bathtub and read them. And I'm like, no wonder Justine likes her. She, they're they're two peas in a pod. Those two. I wonder if how many books Teresa's dropped in the tub. Anyway, here is where I am oh, with Turkey Hollow. Farm. We have to use my arms. I'm okay. sorry. Isn't that beautiful? So I got, I had the house done and the sign done, 
So off to the, what would that be, to the right, I got in the two corn stalks and the second turkey. And then I started working on the floral border above the sign. And um, that goes across the top and down the side and maybe across the bottom, yeah, across the bottom also. So that's some kind of repetitive stitching, but. It's up to you, Missy. You gotta um, go for it. So I love stitching on it. It's just very, very it's beautiful. Fun to stitch, so. It is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And then I only had one other one I've been stitching on. Did you wanna go or you want no, me to No, you finish? go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. <clears throat> the only other thing I've been stitching on, and I have been stitching on this a lot is my Christmas at Hawk Run Hollow, because as I think I've mentioned before, this will not go into 2024. And I have several things to talk about with regard to this. Just found this in my, in my, I'll tell you what, she has bought these in bulk. And when I we, didn't buy them. Yeah. I didn't buy them. <laughs> when we got down to market, I was finding them in my bags at market and I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> and then I happened to see them, a whole bag of them in her purse. I didn't so, buy them. I just want you to know I didn't anyway, buy them. Anyway, ladies, she's <laughs> taking care of business for you. I'm sorry, but it was so oh. worth it. Oh, Shelly Lynn. It's Leanne and Jeannie. Right? <laughs> All right, here's my Christmas at Hawk Run Hollow. Um, oh, my I think goodness. last time I had finished the carolers, and then I went on to block nine, and I'm almost done with it. I, I will have it done yet this month. Um, but several things with this one. And, you know, your arms are going to get tired if you're not, not going to want to hold this up. But first of all, there is what I like to call the great highlighter incident <gasps> of 2023. Oh, 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 oh. I had a highlighter out uncapped that I was using to, you know, highlight my pattern so I could keep my place. Because let me tell you, in this church, that's all like stone. And it's it's a difficult stitch, that church. So I had the highlighter out and I was marking off where I had stitched. Well, I, I don't know what happened. I apparently didn't put the cap back on, but I picked up my piece and I had a huge neon yellow spot of highlighter in the block with the carolers on it. I mean, it was bright. You're right. So, <laughs> <They're yeah. sore. laughs> so I thought, oh my gosh, I was going to take a picture of it and send it to Justine. And then I thought, I don't have time. I immediately got on the computer and Googled to see how I could possibly get it out of there. Cause I thought that's it. I, all that work. And I've got this big neon uh, yellow highlighter. Some people were saying uh, baking soda and some people were saying lemon juice. So I said, okay, I'm doing both. <laughs> so I got out the lemon juice and kind of soaked my piece in it. And then I put the baking soda on and then I poured mo more lemon juice off at the top. And I had to repeat the process about eight times, but it came out. And she was using DMC. Yes, that's what I want to caution everybody about. I'm stitching in DMC, so those are color fast. I don't know what would have happened on, you know, if I had been stitching with silks or if I had been stitching with overdyed cotton. I mean, I don't know, but it worked. So if you have a highlighter incident and you're lucky enough to be stitching with DMC, lemon juice and baking soda. And I, could, I couldn't believe it, how it was. The baking soda was just, I'd put a big pile of white baking soda on the piece and then all of a sudden it would just be bright yellow. The whole thing, it was just, just soaked it sucking up. it right up out of the fabric. Yeah, it was, it was oh, how cool. I mean, I'm sorry, but how cool for you to And you know, the linen, us. the linen is over dyed. That's a Vicki Clayton mystery fabric. So I'm assuming it's an over dyed linen, but it didn't take the color out, so. So okay. that was the one thing I wanted to say. The other thing I wanted to say oh, sorry. is I have been watching a new floss tuber. You have. Her name is, I believe, Liz. Please forgive me if that's not correct, but I believe her name is Liz, and she's called the In-Hand Stitcher. I don't know if you've watched mm -hmm. her or not. I think she's out east somewhere. She's somewhere near where there's some Amish communities. Okay. So, um, but anyway... She is stitching this. Mm -hmm. She just finished her carolers and she's moving on to that block number nine with the church. Okay. But she's stopping there. You know, I was wondering. 
because the block down here, block number, what would be block number 10, is cardinals, and it's kind of a Christmassy scene. Uh -huh. The block in the middle, bottom middle, is a New Year's oh. one. And as you know, the block on the end, I I just don't like it. There's kind of a, some wording in there, and it kind of talks about death. and So... But you got to do the cardinal. I know. That's my problem. I want to do the cardinals. So what happens if you do the cardinal by itself? Well, I, I want it on the piece. That's, that's the problem. I think I've done a lot of debating on if I'm going to stitch the whole thing or not. Because it, it, when she first set it on her floss tube, I'm like, oh, that's what I'm going to do. Because this is actually a Christmas carol, you know. Um, I heard the bells on Christmas Day, the old familiar... Uh, carols play, blah, blah, blah. The very last part of the verse of the song ends in that block nine. Any text in that bottom row is not part of the song. So I really went back and forth quite a bit wondering, God, what should I do? Should I just be done with it? But then there's a part of me that's like, I want to be able to say I, I stitched, finished it. I finished it, you know? And I feel like if I don't do those last three blocks... I feel like I'm... I'm going to be hearing it for the rest of her life. Anyway. Do it. I'm going to do it. But in that last block, I'm not going... There's a cherub in it. I'm not a big fan of cherubs. I'm not going to stitch that. And I might stitch something else in for the wording. I might add some... I don't know. -la -la -la. Maybe a few little motifs from other parts within it. Oh, that's it. cool. But, yeah. So, anyway, Liz, the in-hand stitcher, very, very lovely gal, um... Very beautiful work. Go give her floss tube a watch. She's so fun. Seems yeah. like just a sweet gal. And we chat. We did chat about it a little bit on, um, you know, in the comments, comments. and stuff. So yeah, nice. it's kind of fun. Nice, nice. Yeah. So that's all I've been working on. Can we pause so I can let the dog in? <laughs> okay. Are we ready? <sighs> this is why we don't do them at our homes. <laughs> Okay, my la or my second um, Whipco was no. Mm. Oh, no, I think this was the first one. Which, by the way, is tomorrow the date comes out, so. right? I think so. We get the April Whipco. So this is Autumn Quaker, and I I apologize if I already showed this. I'm sorry. I thought I worked on it more after the other one. Maybe you did work on it more. Oh, and I meant to cut some of the fabric off, and I did not do that either. Sorry. So here is here is where I'm at. Oh, very pretty. And I just love those colors. Those Valdani, just wow. They're beautiful. They are. Mm. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Very so nice. in the year 20,000 something, Oops. maybe I'll get done with it. But this is on my Whipco board throughout the year. So hopefully I'll get some okay. work on it. This is what I was, a this was my second Whipco and this is what I was able to stitch on in the car when Shelly was driving. And when she wasn't being pulled over. <laughs> Here's what I <laughs> So I just love this. And wow, that deer is gonna take me a long time, but that's okay. I'll stitch on that in the car again when Shelly's driving. Nothing like a good deer butt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's that one. What is this one? <clears throat> oh, this is Christmas Garden. And I apologize, I don't have the picture, which I think you guys have all seen it. Um, yeah, and maybe I already somewhere. showed you this. I'm sorry. But my the book, I think, is with my um with Ooh, my she's going to be a big girl, isn't she? She is. But oh. that's my, I'm doing it on 28 count. Mm -hmm. So it is yeah. going to be a big girl. Is that all the call for threads? Yes. Okay. These are the call for. Oh, pretty. And I just love this. Again, you just, I just look at it and stare at it and go, oh, my land. That's beautiful. If only you could go, and it was done. I know. I think I have a needle here somewhere. Actually, I enjoy the process, so I'd probably be, bu be bummed if. I know you do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And then, I don't know why I brought, I think, you've already seen this one. I don't know why I brought this one. Well, it's I'll part of your it. whips, though, right? I'll throw it. We'll show part it of your many, many whips. And then at um, our last 24 hours, I uh, was doing embroidery, or I was hoping to do embroidery, and I wanted to do some coloring. So I was using this pattern, 
and I um, colored it. And now I stitched around it and then um, I want to put um, fuzzy up here. I want to put black beads here mm -hmm. and then I have uh, a different thread that I can like outline something that. shiny? Yeah, so I okay. can lace it. And then I'm going to iron that out. Mm -hmm. And then I think I'll have this made into a boot pillow also. Mm -hmm. Then I also um, did a tomato. Tomato, tomato. And sorry, I'm using the same batting. Um, and also I want to do some, I have some blue in my bag. Um, I want to do some satin stitches in the in the um, thimble or the spool mm -hmm. and I want to put some black beads up here and do some other stuff around here and maybe stuff that and make that a, a pillow also that's but cute something just a little different very cute there you go okay <laughs> those are my whips now you didn't give me bags for these right yeah because they're okay. on your chair over here oh okay Whips. Okay, so then plans. My plans. It's a Friday. I always have big plans on Friday. Do you? What do you mean for the weekend mm -hmm. or what? Oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And then they all go out the window. Right. Show me one of your plans. Um. Well, I think I had to talked to you before about um, helping my aunt do oh, a birth right. sampler for her granddaughter and she's just getting to the point where she can't she can't see it anymore so it's come back to me oh that's and pretty. so i'm going to be working on this um birth sampler for little emerson and it's um it's all done in purples and this is the top here is the start of a rainbow with different pur purples in it oh gorgeous yeah and i so, did you pick out the colors i did pick out the colors um she gave me paint swatches from oh. the nursery and then i picked out colors to kind of match the nursery oh so, how pretty yeah and i'll do a, like a quick back here flash of what it's gonna look like but but all in purple so um that was, you know, not originally in my plans, but it's in my plans now, and I think I should probably work on it and get it done as quickly as possible. So that's part of my plans. Other than that, I'm going to keep working on Christmas at Hawk Run Hollow. We're going to have two new whip goes that are pulled. I'm probably going to continue to stitch in the evenings on Turkey Hollow Farm until the end of March. <laughs> Just to irritate me. So who started it first? Well, wait a minute. We both started. We started it, it the same day. <laughs> and I don't know. Um, I think that's about it. I think those are my plans. Um, yeah. For now, anyway. I'd like to finish that robin that I just yes. showed for the needle book. Yes. And I want to start this this weekend. This is by. Um, yeah, I didn't see these. You must have went in there by yourself. I don't think I... so. Well, maybe I... No, I don't think... Maybe I did. This is Shepherd's Bush. Sorry about the glare. That's super cute. Yes, and I am so How do you excited. stitch on that? You unzip it, and you go through here. Okay. Isn't that bag cute? That is cute. I am I'm so excited. I... I may need to make, you need to tell me more suggestions about Netflix or something. Okay. This is, this is pillow ticking. You at, you were, you didn't know what was pillow ticking was. Okay. Sometimes it's red or green or, but that's, that's what I consider pillow ticking. I Show can, it again. I consider it Is that material. pillow ticking? Is it just me? I think it's pillow ticking. It's what they used to use to make feather pillows. With, you know? Oh. Mm -hmm. And I think it's it's such a tight weave that it was harder for the feathers to come out. You're so smart. I'm guessing. I have no clue. So smart. Okay, and speaking of which, be, speaking of being smart, Rachel from Needle and Flax is doing that First Ladies mm -hmm. series. Rachel, that, I, well, she probably doesn't watch us, but 
I, if you are not watching Rachel in Needle, from Needle and Flax in her First Lady series, it's a series about um, uh, deceased First Ladies and stitching of their time. And I'm kind of a history nut anyway, but I am just fascinated by that. And they're her, you know, they're some, a couple of her shows that she's done. She did Martha Washington so far and Abigail Adams. They've both been pretty long, like an hour and a half, but it goes by just like that because it's just so interesting. interesting. So go watch that if you have any interest in history at all or, or the first ladies and, and their handcrafts or, you know, what they did for crafting back in the day. It's very interesting. She is one smart cookie, let me tell you. Oh, how cool. Well, yeah. Speaking of that in the day, um, another thing I do want to start this weekend, well, I wanted to start it for a long time, is on Instagram... I had seen this book, and um, when you read it, it is it is um, um, by, and I'm pronouncing it wrong probably, Yvette Stanton, Stanton, and I emailed her and asked about getting copies for the store because I just love it. It's Dutch embroidery, and when you read through it, it's, um, it's a, a, a touch, it's, not hard on there altogether, but there's that they kind of co mix. And this is what I saw on Instagram. Isn't that beautiful? So you must not have watched um, Jacob from Modern Folk Embroidery. Either. I watched part of it. He's doing this. I didn't see that. Yes, you have to go back and watch it. He showed a Seriously? little pillow that he did in white work. <gasps> and yeah, he showed this exact one. Or? Uh, not the not the book, but he's. He's starting to learn how to do white work, and Ooh. he just wanted to try something different, uh -huh. and, and he did a little pill, and it was so pretty, and I, I thought to myself when I watched it, I wonder if that's what Justine's book is about, oh. and sure enough. Well, it's it's not... It is called white work, too, It's right? called white work. Fri Frisian white work. It, it's a form of hard hunger, but it, it doesn't have as much cutting as hard hunger has, so I... Yeah, go back and watch him. He had a little will. pillow that he was... Thank you. Yeah. So, yes. So. Very okay. fun. Sorry. All right. Uh, so, that's plans. Um, I don't have a whole lot of haul, but I did... When we were at market, there was a gal there that was kind of... Um, well, she was selling some project bags that she had made. Not, you know, she was, she didn't have a shop. She was just, had brought a bunch with her. And so I bought a couple of cute project bags that I would just show. I'm not sure if she has a, like an Etsy shop or not. I don't know. So I'm, I'm leery, leery of mentioning her name. But Adorable. Um, yeah. It's got, this is a nice big bag for a nice big project. Oh, we need to fill that up then, don't we? And it's got the polka dot material on the inside too but I just thought that was cute the little tomato and then on the on the little pin here for the zipper pull cute. she's got a little tag. what are we gonna put in there I don't know we'll figure it out and then I also bought one of these which is a little bit smaller kind of for a, a standard size project bag it's got a little button closure here and then how cute is that inside white polka dot on orange fabric I think it's so cute anyway it's just the old simplest vintage simplicity patterns um, fabric that I thought was so cute. So yeah, I bought a couple project bags. Vintage. Do you remember when simplicity patterns look like that? Um, I do. Do you? Speaking of that, that's because you're older. <laughs> a month. I just have to interrupt our the program. The program. Okay. My mother had a very special birthday this yes, last she weekend. She did. And um, my sister and my cousin came home from <gasps> Virginia drove to Minnesota, um, and they stopped in Winona, where Shelly's daughter goes to school and my niece goes to mm -hmm. school, and they stopped at a um, antique store. Mm -hmm. I got a gift. Did you bring it? Oh, no, I should have. Yes. Oh, no, I'll show it next time. I think that they were excited to see if you would show it on the first Gosh, darn it, I totally <laughs> forgot it. I'm so so. I will. Show it next time. Because when I was little, and you had one too. Yep. I had a Mrs. Beasley. Do you guys remember her? You're too, if you're young, no, you don't. But I just loved her. I loved her, and I loved her, and I played with her all the time. 
My sister wasn't really a dog girl, so she told me she got sick and tired of her and she buried her in the backyard. <laughs> of course, she was kidding. We, we lost her. I couldn't find her. Well, lo and behold, it. I don't know how it makes me feel that they found a Mrs. Beasley, my old doll, in an, an antique, antique store. store. <laughs> but anyway, I got her. And she's adorable. She is. She's she's in very good condition. Very clean. Yes. The only thing is she doesn't have her glasses. Yeah. But um, the highlight, I don't think you were there, but the highlight was my aunt's. I, at my mom's, we had a party at my mom's house. And I put Mrs. Beasley kind of in the corner and just sat her there. And the reason I sat her there is I wanted to see what my aunt said. Mm -hmm. Both aunts, uh. not at the same time, said, Oh, you found her. <laughs> you know, you forget how when we grew up, we grew up with our aunt yeah. and uncles and our cousins, and we were very, very close. Yeah. So when both my aunts said that, I mean, yeah. we were very fortunate. Yeah. And sometimes it takes something like that to remember how fortunate we are. But yeah. anyway, I got Mrs. Beasley. <laughs> yes, you definitely have to show Mrs. Beasley. I do, I time. do. So write it down, Mrs. Beasley and your two FFOs from Osage. All right. I have to tell you what my son did because, you know, after you look at what you played with for so long, mm -hmm. it is kind of freaky. Her <laughs> eyes. My son, plain, mm -hmm. put her in my bed. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Covered her up so I wouldn't see it when I crawled in. <laughs> Did she scare you? Uh, no. Um, I Neil, your, yes. I think your sister said that it looked like uh, Chucky's sister. <laughs> anyway, I love her. Yeah. Okay, and Osage. Thing. Okay. Okay. All right, got that. So, that was haul. Did you have, you have some haul? I do have some haul. What do you got over there? All right, I'm going to show that? you. This is what I bought for Michelle's Quilting in Bloor. And I may have to stand up. I'm sorry. Okay. Look at this. This is Lori Holtz Zippy Bags 2. So what this is, I think this is eight bags. Oh, wow. All on... It's like a panel. Yes. All on one panel. Oh, wow. Look at that. Those are cute. Isn't that cool? It's really kind of a heavy fabric. Yes, it is. It's almost like a canvas. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that's pretty. And then can you show what else I got to go with them? Yes. This came with it? Yes. She's got a kit. Oh, my god. So you get all the zippers to go with it. And then the big panel also. And they're those double zippers, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Oh, so if anybody's cool. interested, it's uh, Michelle's Quilting. And she does have a website, so go very look fun. at Michelle's Quilting and Blue Earth. But I just love them. Yeah, very cute. Shelly, don't you love them? Oh, I knew that was coming. <laughs> so. Shelly, will you make them for me? <laughs> we'll, have, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. We'll have to take a look at what all is involved here. Yeah, but I love it. Sorry. Yeah, very so. cute. Okay. Very, very cute. So I think that's all my haul, isn't it? You tell me. Yes. What's up with the that? Is that just one of your many whips? Uh, yes. That's okay. the. This is. This is um for twenty four hours. Oh, you want to show them? Sure. Okay. Okay. Our next twenty four hours is last weekend in April. April. And if you're if you are interested at all. Please come on. We have still room for stitching during the day. Um, the rooms upstairs are full, but you could either come for just a day and stitch, or you can stay in a hotel either yep. in Blue Earth or um, Fairmont is close by, Albert Lee is close by. Um, on Thursday afternoon, we're going to have a punch needle class if anybody's interested. And actually what we're going to use is the Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine. The new one just came out, so we're going to use that one. Thurs oh, is it Thursday, Friday, Saturday? Is that what I said? Yeah. No, no, Friday okay. afternoon. I'm sorry, Friday afternoon. Okay. And then Saturday morning, if anybody's interested, there is a bag class at Michelle's. And Michelle picked this material out like four months ago and had it all ready. But this is this is the bag oh, cute. that they're gonna make. Oh, fun! 
So if anybody's interested, and it doesn't have to be, you don't have to go to 24 hours to take this class if you don't want to. And then I have to show you what she put, what she put on the back of hers. See this? This is machine embroidery. Oh, that's cute. And then she bought the same pattern for machine embroidery that I bought for hand embroidery. Cute. And I don't have it stitched yet, but I have it colored. I wanted to color it in. Oh, that would be cute on a bag. Yeah. Yeah, very cute. So if you're interested, just go to my website and go under calendar, welcomestitchery.com. And um, there's a sign-up sheet. Or, of course, if you have any questions, email me at welcomestitchery at bevcom.net. Or give me a call at 507-526-2006. Very so, good. So I'm excited for that. Okay. okay. Is it whip parade time? I think Shelly's going to be disappointed. How's... Why? Because you don't have them all. <laughs> no, because I don't have as many as you think I have. Oh, I think you have as many as I think you have. You just haven't found them. Were we going to talk about market afterwards or before? After. Okay. All right. How's this going to go? I'm going to show them and you're going to bag them. Okay. Is that okay? You show them, I'll bag them. All right. Okay. Here's the bag. Thank you. Okay. This was last month's um, Whipco, which again, it's on for... Um, I think I have like six things on my Whipco board, so they're gonna it's gonna pop up again. Here's Feliz Navidad by um, did I say it right? Navidad. Navidad <laughs> by Blackbird. I'll help with translation. <laughs> you do know sometimes I say I'm wrong, just an irritator. <laughs> <laughs> so I love this, love it, love it, love it. I wonder if that will be our next competition. Feliz Navidad. Maybe yeah. we're both stitching it. Okay, this is another one that I started. <laughs> for That's a Shelly start. <laughs> for Shelly's birthday. <laughs> and it is Heaven and Earth Mini C Opal. I just love those colors. Look at, isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, gorgeous. Well, just gorgeous. There's not enough on here to be gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> this one I think it's... I started and took out more than once because I was going to use two strands. Then I was going to go over two. Now I'm one strand over one. Are you tenting it or not? No. No. Okay. No. Because that's another thing I thought about doing. And I could because I could take it all out and tent. <laughs> For a fifth time. Yes. Okay. Now here is... Sorry for all the rustling. Can I show? Yep. Here's my Wisconsin pillow. Oh, wait a minute. I'm done with it. No. 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 I've only, made... only you know what's going on here, dear. <laughs> I've made a mistake. My cow is bigger than it should be. Oh. So I need to kind of figure it out. So well, as you can see, I stopped. Big, right? Yeah, well, yeah. we'll see. Okay. So there's that one. That's by Threadmilk Designs. They have one for every state. And I, um, I need to make more some states remember you told me you saw somebody from alaska mm -hmm. well she brought him in oh to, to for me to really see somebody oh, from alaska okay. so <laughs> okay we have september sapphires by carolyn manning designs and i'm doing this one this do you see a theme this one? here with blues i think so okay Yes. Ooh, nice. Isn't that pretty? Very pretty. All right. There's that one. Thank you. All right. Now we have another blue one. This is the, I believe this is the color of air or color of water. One of them. And this is also on my whip co board this year. So I've got a little bit more done. It's just hard to see because most of it's white right there, but... Mm -hmm. Next time it gets called, we can we'll be able to see more. Cute, cute, cute. All right, this is something that's got to get done. Oh, this is my um, fall on the farm. So I still have more to go. I have six or five done, and three more, three and three fourths to go. I love it. Absolutely love it and can't wait till it's done. 
I just need to sit down and do it. Cute. Okay, I'm almost done. <laughs> Is anybody counting? I'm not. I'm not because I know this is not all of them. <laughs> yes. I could probably go to her house right now and lay my hand on 10. Well, uh, maybe that's what I should have you do that I know where they were at. <laughs> this is the um, the 12 Days of Christmas by Liz Matthews. And this is the first one. And I'm doing mine all together. You know why I was so tempted to do the same thing as that in hand stitcher and just call my... Christmas at Hawk Run Hollow so done at nine bucks. So I could start this. <laughs> well, and this is on 25 count um, smoky white, and I'm doing it one over one with the silks. How's that going over one? Uh, it's okay. It just takes a little bit of getting used to. Yeah. Um, But. Is that ever pretty? Isn't it? I look just, how saturated the colors look. I just it need just to looks, keep going. It just looks beautiful. But we were able to see this all done on one, or it's not, it wasn't done, but. It, how many did she have? Three or four oh. days of Christmas done at 24 hours. And... It's gorgeous. Well, she had done all the way. She was waiting for the next one to come out. So she had seven done. Oh, my land. Yeah. And now eight is out. And I don't know what the plan is for the last four, like when she's going to be releasing those. But oops. Sorry. Okay, this is October Harvest by Blackbird Designs. And I am done with one, working on another one, and I really would like to do all three of them. Well, here's the other two. And this one I have done, this one I'm working on. I just think they're adorable. Of course, I have they're cute. I have a thing for stockings. I don't know why. Okay, What's this is one area where you and I are not of the we same. We don't mind. care for stockings, do you? At Christmas, no. Shelly, we Lynn. need to get over it. We're supposed to have Christmas in our heart all year, all year round. round. Okay, okay, Polly Maria, this is the one that we got at Shanty Stitchers. And uh, Ginny owns the sampler, and um, Kathy from Hands On Design charted it. And I, I haven't started this yet. I restarted it. Uh -huh. Did you? Not much, though. Sorry. But I love it, and I love those colors. Yeah, it's pretty. So we got it all kitted up from, from Shanty Stitchers. You know how fast letters stitch up, right? In other words, get going on it. Well, you could like really make some progress on this, and I would like to, but I would really like to make progress on this one. Tricky Yellow <laughs> Farm by Stacey She's probably Nash. got it done. She's gonna pull it out, and it's done. I so that's, so, that's how she rolls. I so wanted to. If I knew that I could. Are you stay ready, up Missy? Late. Here it comes. I gotta remember where I'm at. Even have the top done. She's ahead of me. What oh my mean? land. I thought I had the sign done. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad for you. <laughs> don't put marker on that, please. <laughs> Man, that was scary. Okay, here is Teresa Kogut. Believe. I love this one. I love this in punch needle, and I love it That's in, cute. oops, sorry. I'm I mean, not very on. far on it, though, but everything she does is adorable. And she's so sweet. Yeah, I got a long way to go. Lick my bag. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Getting crazy in here. Okay. Getting crazy. So this is what Shelly bought me for Christmas. Oh, that was so nice of me. It was nice of you. Was it? Was it last year? Was it? No, it was the year before. This is when it was when it was an exclusive, right? Yes. This was through that homespun Facebook page. 
They do the exclusive patterns. They just did one for Stacy Mann through acorns and threads. Well, I can tell I'm gonna like that already with the holly berries in the corner. So maybe that's Ooh. the one I should stitch, so I should feed you on that one. <laughs> I haven't started it, so it wouldn't be too hard for you to beat me. Okay, reindeer feed sack. This is the one that Shelly told me that I should finish, which by the way, How's that going? we need to get back to um, what should Justine finish and oh, yes. what should so Shelly what... stitch. Yeah. We're just all out of sorts. We are. Oh, we used to be on such a good schedule. And and I love this. We kitted this up in the Osage. It's cute. She had a new bag at market. Yes. You, you bought some, I think. I did. And you store. know what? I stitched another bag for her. Oh. I gave it to um, Sam and Brian. Oh, okay. Okay, this is month to month August. I still just love these colors. Love them, love them, love them. I started this at StitchCon last year, right? Yellow and black. Have you made progress on that? I, I did the August, or the, wor the words, not too long okay. ago. And thank you for my bag. You're welcome. James and the Giant Peach. Sorry. I didn't Rose give and you the that. Giant Peach. No, no, Danica did. Okay. And I love this one. I don't know why I haven't gotten any further on that. It just cruised mm -hmm. right along. Mm -hmm. Are you using the silks? For yes. This? Yep. All right. This is the one that should have been finished five years ago. Love it today like I did that day. Green on green. So, this must be part of a trio. There's also a blue one and a red one. Is that blue one or is it blue Rhapsody? No, there's a different, it's, there's a different one. I've been seeing them on Instagram a lot lately. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, oh my, and is. I mean, it's not the stitching I'm talking about. It's the... The colors and these colors, Osage, um, Citri Nook and Osage helped me pick these out years ago. I just love it. I should finish it. Yes, you should. And then this is this was my other start for Shelly's birthday last year. So this is what I stitched for her birthday this year, and I love this one also. This is by the Scarlet House, Lucy Owen. So I made a little progress on it. Love it, love it, love it. This is my um, gear on, my only gear on tote and bag bag. And this is, I have another Rosewood Manor. Oh, Santa. That's cute. And... Yeah. Ooh, there's look how tiny. Cute. Oh, I got a long ways to but go. But very on that tiny. Oh, something dropped. That's okay. I'll get it later. Okay. Look at the inside of that bag. That's beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh. What do we have here? All right. Then I got the um, Christmas Ornament Trio from Waxy Moon Design. This is an exclusive to the Stitchery Nook in Osage, Iowa. They're just gorgeous. And I finished the skating one. It's so cute. And I thought I started the other one. I guess I didn't. Oh, well... So that's a finish. That's in my to-do pile. Okay. I am also stitching on Halloween Quaker. I am not as far as Shelly is. So there's Halloween Quaker. And, ooh, my needle's kind of falling. 
That's a big needle too, look down. So that's what I have done. Yeah, there's a long way to go on that one. Long way to go. <laughs> this is from the Sewing Club book, my Blackbird Design. Someday, I would like to finish a blackbird. <laughs> you, ever, you finished a blackbird. Yes, you did. You finished oh, the frosty the bird. one. And the bird. Which That's bird? That's right. The, your big bird. Oh, yep. Yeah. You finished too. This is the one that I'm doing. Rose hips and ivy. I missed it. Yeah. Well, not much on here. So, yeah. And we have another Carolyn Manning. Um, something about the stars. I don't know if you noticed it, but it's blue and gray. This one is fun because it's it is a you know a series of the same color. So you would think that I would have stitched more. Did not. Is it kind of meditative stitching though? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of I, that's what I find with hers. I think. Oh, this is a nice bag. Who made that? Look at that. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Okay, Seeking Refuge. This is the I one. I made you this one. You did? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Jelly. Yeah. <laughs> this is Seeking Refuge. I thought I had lost this one. The lost is now found. And I've had this going for a long time. I just need to get moving on it. What's up? That's oh. white. Oh, there is a little like bunny or something yeah, down there. Yeah. Got it. So it's kind of fun. I haven't seen a lot of these for a while, so <laughs> me either. <laughs> Do you need something to eat? No, I'm fine. <laughs> Remind me to tell you why I asked that. <laughs> <laughs> this one is Dancer by Barbara Anna. And I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. And that is all the further that I am. Is it like the commercials? I'm a diva when I'm hungry? <laughs> or just crabby? When we were at market, you know, we, we worked our tails off. Yes, we did. And uh, I looked at her one day when... We were getting a little silly and a little tired. Do you need something to eat? <laughs> and this one I love. This is Heaven and Earth OS. Oh, excuse me. QS Iris. Stitchy Mommy was working on that. And I usually don't stitch in a Q-snap, but for some reason I have this one in a Q-snap. So. Are you stitching it over one or something? I'm or? stitching it over two. Okay. This is going to be big. And that's okay, because I love it. I see uh, several bags that I made for you. Yes, here. you do. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, here's one I ruined. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. See, I've heard that about those vinyl front bags. I'm going to have to quit making vinyl front bags. I'm sorry. Here is Forever and Ever with With I Needle and Thread, minus the rest of the print that's on the bag. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Oh, that's cute. I don't have much done, but I just love these colors. Look at that manor red shell. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. That's a very pretty pattern. Of course, all of hers are. All right, you guys still there? <laughs> I'd like to say I'm almost done, but we haven't raised it all. Plum Street, always remember. I love this too. I can't believe you're not stitching this, Shelly, with those poppies. Just haven't gotten there yet. Okay, and where am I? There's a reason why you have more whips than me, dear. Why? <laughs> Whoops. It's not great. I'm sorry. There we go. I love that on that fabric. It's so pretty. 
so pretty. Yeah, some of these are like looking at them brand new. This one I thought about today though. This one I did because I want to get this done for um, Thanksgiving. Gobble by Plum Street Samplers. This is the one that I copied because Shelly said it. <laughs> I had you get that for me. I haven't even started it yet and you've started it and want to finish it. Yeah, well, I'm not very far. Okay. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, good Lord. <laughs> it started and I'm doing it all in one color like you, mm -hmm. like you had mm -hmm. said, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't have the pattern for this. So this one doesn't count, right? Yes. <laughs> This is by um, Big Toe, and oh my gosh, their stuff is just gorgeous. This is, God grant me this, what is it? God grant me the ability to accept the, something about the projects I have and something and something. So it's it's a take off of the Serenity Prayer, and I just love those colors. I just love them. Yeah, I would really pretty, love to that finish that. That reminds me of rose mulling up at the top there. You're right. Mm -hmm. I need really, to I need to finish that one. Remember when my did your grandma used to do rose mulling? My grandma did rose mulling. I don't think so. Okay, here is the colors of autumn. Love it. Love it. Love it. But apparently, not enough. Oh, it's the blue. I do love it. Maybe I'll stitch that tonight when I get home. <laughs> All right. So the next one. Tonight when you get home, you're going to hop in the tub with a book. I know you. <laughs> not good stitch. Well, maybe I haven't started this one. Oh, so this one doesn't count. Yep. Oh, never mind. <laughs> but I better check she this. Has I better the stuff to start. Is there another piece of fabric in there? There it is. There it is. But I haven't started it. Oh. I think the fabric I had in it, I decided I like the other fabric better. Mm, okay. So here. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Don't count that one. <gasps> yes, here's another one that started. Are we sure this one either? Oh, so now we've got all sorts of kitted projects. This is what happens when you clean your basement, sorry. Okay, I love this one also. This is by, um, with a needle and thread, Brenda Jumet, Noelle Sampler. Oof da, oof da, oof da, oof da, oof da. You bought that in, at, uh, country sampler on our road trip and you were so excited about it oh i just love it love it love it love it you're falling behind child well i'm having issues i'm having <laughs> zipper issues <laughs> because somebody's got threads all willy-nilly everywhere hmm. wonder who that could be i would have no idea yeah Okay, this is one I started a long time ago, but I still love. This doesn't have a bag? No. This is Seasons of Chalk Spring. So this is by Hands On Design and Priscilla. This was in the magazine. Look at that pop. Isn't that adorable? Look at it pop. I tell you. I, I can tell you keep up what? here. <laughs> you know how this just makes me crazy. This was kitted up by Keepsakes. This is um, Alexandria Allendine Needleworks. And that's the one that uh, Georgia Girl stitched, yep, right? That's yeah. where I saw it. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not going to say the name right. Zuka. And you know what's fun is Lynn, her mother, and her sister are all stitching this. Oh, are they? On different fabric and different floss. Oh, it's cool. cool. That'll it be is fun. cool. Very cool. So it'll I, be fun to see those when you pass them off as your finishes. <laughs> <laughs> so keepsake kitted this up for me because um, they had 
um, helped Georgia girl stitch this or pick out her floss. Megan. Yep. Yeah. And I said, ding a ling a ling. Can I have the same thing? <laughs> I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Good oh boy. <laughs> it's getting deep in here. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just can't believe I didn't finish this one yet. Oh, Joyous Day by Blackbird. You know what I hear? Everybody, everybody says that thing is just such a joy to stitch. It's gorgeous. Ooh, you're quite a ways on that one. Yeah, I've got one. One, one, one. One what? One roll. Mm, well, it's better than some of the Shelly starts we've seen. <laughs> Okay, and this is by Stony Creek um, Country Christmas. I want to sing John Denver. Take me home, country girls. Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> I'm not too far. This isn't one that you just calls to. I take it. Not right now. Okay. But it's gorgeous. Okay, what do we have here? Oh my goodness, I haven't seen this forever. America the Beautiful. That would be after my daughter's dog took that, bite of it. <laughs> yeah. The pattern that the dog ate. Look at that. You gotta get back on that. I do. It's very pretty. It's very nice. beautiful. Ooh, remember how much I bad I wanted this one? And it's just sad how far I yes. am. Yes. Quaker's Pride. Vicky's finished it, right? Or is oh. she stitching? Oh. Is she still stitching it? She's stitching it, at least, right? I don't know if she's stitching that one or the other ones. I mean, I know she's stitching the other ones. Mm -hmm. Well, this is just sad. Just sad. Look at that. Such a beautiful piece. Just sad. Somebody's getting hungry. He's coming <laughs> down to find food. This is Welcome Home by Rosewood Manor. Have you seen me? Have you seen this one? Yeah, I think so. It's another sad situation. Yeah, it won't be prettier if it was color done. Are you doing it in? I am doing it in classic color works, Calico Kitty. Ooh. You guys getting tired yet? I'm sorry. Oh, this is my H. I can't show he you. Came, when... He came down and looked in the stove. <laughs> like opened the oven door. Because <laughs> the oven is on. Because I'm going to make something after mm -hmm. this. But he peeks in the oven door. <laughs> There's nothing in there. <laughs> <laughs> is that what an oven's for? <laughs> this is my H that I got on um, Etsy. That may just be the H <laughs> forever. <laughs> is it the H or did you finish the one for your niece's wedding? No, because I ran out of thread. Oh no, hers was hers was teal. Right. Yeah. Okay, and then you all know the, um, oh my land, this is sad. Oh, gee, Merry Christmas. Remember how you were going to stay on track with this one. <laughs> From <laughs> Hacker High Water, she was going to, that's the one, Sarah. This is Amaris. Yes, Sarah mean this. Yeah. This is the um, hands-on design um, mystery. It is a mystery. <laughs> the Halloween. Yeah, I think I did the same thing to the Christmas one. Did you? Oops, that was not <laughs> Oh, here's my nieces. So here's the same thing. This okay. is supposed to be a bee. A bee? That's so pretty. That is really pretty. Mm -hmm. I love that color. I know. Is that do. Gloriana or yes. is that? Okay. All right, what's this one? Oh, this is my Rose Quaker. Very pretty. How is your Rose Quaker coming? Yeah, well, it's it's still budding. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I am not as far as you are by all means. Okay, where am I? Oh, I can't wait till mine comes out again. There we go. Yes. And are we doing it on the same fabric? No, I don't think so. Honey, think, yeah, we are we? Mine's wild honey, I think. Mine's honey glaze. So this is mine. Pretty, yeah, I have a long pretty, ways to pretty, go. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Still fun. Well, did you really want to stitch it? I believe I made you I made you start this one with me, didn't I? I believe you did, but that's okay. All right, this is um, Erica Michaels, Charlotte Mullinger, and I am stitching the mini sampler. So it's this one right here. Oops. And that's as far as I got. Which one is I'm missing? See, you're getting ahead of me. This one? Yes. The bottom one, yes. Okay. Ooh, this one I also love. And I believe there's some teeth marks in this one too. <laughs> this is From the Heart, um, Needle, Needle Art by Wendy. Um, Jobanina, 1841. Jobiana. There you go. Oh, I love it. Yeah. And I'm doing it with the NPIs. Yeah, that's pretty. This was another one where I was just gonna do it. Get it done. Ooh. And then something else comes along. Squirrel. All right, this is Carolyn Manning, 10,000 Lakes, Minnesota. You're way further on this than I am. I barely have the first corner done. Those colors are pretty. I, I love they it. say Minnesota all over. Yeah, they do. So I love it. It'll be done someday. It'll be done and in a quilt for me. Oh, that's right. Okay, then we have Winter Quaker. So I'm thinking that this one may go on my Whipco next year. Hopefully, I'll finish the autumn one. And this is a big old piece of fabric too. Yeah, isn't because it? I was gonna split it with you. Is that also Valdani's? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Mm, pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. We're Hello, getting down Suki. there, Shell. Hello, Suki Boo. Hi. <laughs> this is by Heart and Hand Square Dance, and it is the January through December, and I'm doing them on, on all one piece of paper. One piece of paper? I mean, one piece of paper. <laughs> January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. I saw these probably what, four years ago at market, three or four years ago, and it was just gorgeous, all on one piece of fabric. So here is January, February, March. They're all done? These are done. Well, well, excuse me, I don't have the buttons on them. Just but in I time for I... you to start April. That's true. That's true. I don't want to put the buttons on until the end, but it's, it, it was bag. really cute. Did Deidre make you this bag? Yes. Yes, that's so cute. Hey, Deidre. Look at that bag. That is so pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is Sampler's Not Forgotten. You mm -hmm. made me start this. Yep, you I made you start this one too. Do I not have a colored picture? What in the world? Here it is. Christmas in my heart, 1843. I will honor Christmas in my heart and try to keep it all the year. If you ever wonder why we have um have the holiday music playing, this is why. So cute. D made me this one. Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh, this is what this is what I started after market last year. I made you this one, and all of your ho ho ho's are going the right direction. <laughs> 
the first couple were backwards and they said, oh, oh, oh. This is by, um, this is the pillow from um, Saju. And I haven't really gotten any farther than I did last time. But here we go. And I'm using their threads. So. Oh, here is a mail hill kit. Winter stage. Winter stag. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even read it close enough. <laughs> my bifocals. Well, no, it's not my bifocals. It's my eyes. It's me. Okay. And I started it here. I'm putting it on fabric instead of on... um. Perforated. Perforated, yeah. Look at those colors. Aren't they beautiful? So, yeah, I'd like to get back to that sometime, too. I just wish my boss let me stay one. <laughs> All right. Then we have, which you guys have seen, Peace. This is also on our whip coat for this year. So, here we go. I love that. Yeah, that's pretty. Just love it. Very pretty. So, then we have another Plum Street, Liberty Lodge. I believe I started this during COVID. While I'm oh, at home. you loved this one. I did. I still do, I should say. So, yeah, you put quite a ways on that. Hmm. I have no problem. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? That house. That's a big old house. It is. Oh, okay. This one I haven't started either. This is the hands-on design Christmas <laughs> mystery sampler. The one you were going to keep up with? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> have the board and everything. I give her a hard time, but she's a busy gal. <laughs> this is, I don't think I started, no, I haven't started this one either, so this doesn't count. Oh my. I want to start it. Ooh, I like <gasps> that. You know what? Are you done? I am done. I didn't bring my heart on her projects, I guess, but I'm done. See, it wasn't that many. Did you count? I did not count. Okay. There's probably if about 15 in counted. there. Yeah. All right. Thank you for watching all of that. Do we want to do just a really quick, I don't know, market A couple of market stories. Do you need something to eat? No. <laughs> so we get on the road and we're not four hours away from home yet. We're in Waverly, Iowa. Stop to grab a bite to eat. Someone runs a stop light. It wasn't even orange. It was not even yellow. yellow. It was full on red. And she blew, <laughs> blew right through it. All of a sudden I hear, uh, you just went through a red light. <laughs> so we get back on the highway and wouldn't you know it, pretty soon, He's right behind us. Pulls Let us over. Let me just tell you, a very nice gentleman. Yes, very he nice. Was. <laughs> they have nice police officers in Waverly, Iowa. He was nice. Poor guy looked at the back of our vehicle and said, where, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> and for some reason, Justine he thought this said, was hilarious. Justine said, we're going to market. He said, oh, what kind of market? And Justine says, cross-stitching market. It's not everybody's cup of tea. <laughs> I'm sure he just thought we were just a couple Let's of... Let's get these old biddies out of the way. <laughs> and then he looked at me because I had my laptop sitting in my lap. And he's like, oh, you're trying to work from the road? And I said, yeah. He I said, got a meeting in 15 minutes. He's like, hurry up. <laughs> I said, yeah, in fact, I have a meeting in 15 minutes. So if we could just wrap this up, please. Anyway. So yeah, after that was the that. first thing. And then uh -oh. we get two more hours down the road. We're six hours into a 13-hour trip, and we decide we're going all the way. 
And normally we, we would normally we would stop and stay somewhere and else. then pick up again in the morning and and drive the rest of the way but the brainiacs that we are we decided we can do this we i are didn't gonna, have a problem doing oh it. my gosh i was so you were the one. tired she was <laughs> sitting there nodding off and she's feeling so guilty about it i'm like I'm i was fine. <laughs> i was because i just feel like you know you should the per, the person that's riding shotgun should stay awake and keep the other one awake. I think it was the person who decided to go straight through was the one. Who <laughs> She's, I was oh yeah, and and then to top it off on the other end of the trip, we were up until three o'clock in the morning the day before we left putting stuff in the computer you know trying to make it so that she didn't have so much to do when she got back back home to the shop. We stayed up till three o'clock in the morning. We decided, okay, we better get some sleep. We went to sleep, got four hours of sleep, got up at seven, and drove the entire way home. Do you need something okay. to eat? <laughs> so every time I was the least bit snippy or crabby, do you need something to eat? Do you need something to eat? Oh. No, I want to sleep. <laughs> we did okay though. What it's was done. what was your favorite part, I guess, of market? My favorite part was now that I've been in the business for a couple of years, mm -hmm. it is so nice to go and have people call you by name yep. and remember you and you know who they are now. Yeah. Um, we were lucky enough that we went out to eat for um, supper with the Stitchery Nook girls. Yeah. And then we went back to Embassy Suites and met Jenny from the Shanty Stitchers. And we sat there and talked. Yeah. Um, we saw people that we met last year and we got mm -hmm. hugs from them. And yeah, it was it was a lot of work. Um, hopefully this year for market, I will for next year, I'll get the reservations in quick enough and so we can stay at the hotel because I feel like we lost yeah a couple hours, you know, getting to and fro. I mean, it was right across the street, but yeah, we could. It was kind of nice to be at a different hotel just to get away from the chaos. And um, we stayed in a very nice hotel and but um but it does help to be able to just go and dump stuff and the, the gals from the Stitchery Nook let us use their yes, room for dumping which kind. was which was wonderful. Oh, kind. I know and seeing um from the Daily Stitcher seeing her again. Oh, Penny. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We, we met her last year, so it was so fun to see her again yeah, this year. And, it was. You know, every year you meet more people, and yeah. so. And, yeah, we met a lot of really nice people again this year, and, and just we had a great time. What? You got to spend time with me. I did. And believe did. me, I needed more than a Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Um, you had a lot more pre-orders this year. I did. And so Thank you, everybody. We, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the pre-orders. Thank you for all the calls and the messages. Mm -hmm. And um, thank you. It, there was no no time to rest. No time. I mean, we were hoofing it. Yeah. In fact, time. we had to laugh because one night we were in our hotel. Mm -hmm. And we ate at the hotel most of the time. So we were eating and we were planning our strategy for the next day so mm -hmm. we had our book all lined up and gentleman comes by and says i know where you're going well and his wife was over sitting on the couch oh and yeah. she was a little tired yeah you know that was fun it, yeah yeah that was fun because we both knew how tired we both were yeah, <laughs> yeah that was so but so any shop news that you want to um, share well the 24 hours of cross stitch and then we are going to be having a class by lucy beam and it's going to be in september and off the top of my head i can't remember the dates it's either the 15th or the 16th or the 14th and the 15th it's friday and saturday we got um, to see her while we yes, were at market and we got to meet her daughter yeah for all her fabric i'm so excited about that and that will be coming out really soon because mm -hmm. we finalized um, most of everything today at work and so we'll be coming out with that so good. that'll be fun good deal I can't think of anything else can you no just thank you yeah it's good to do another one of these again hopefully we won't be so long in between we say that all the time but life gets in the way sometimes so it does it does yeah all right Alrighty. oh my gosh it's over an hour I'm, I'm so sick. sorry all right Ready? Ready. Cheers, Cheers to stitching. <laughs> Bye-bye.